Many Boiseans we know are struggling to pay rent, but high fees can also pose a problem for renters. A new bill making its way through the legislature aims to cap those fees while making sure potential renters know what they're paying up front. Jude Binkley talked with the bill's sponsor about what she hopes to accomplish with this. Jude. Morgan, uh, Senator Ali Arabi is sponsoring the bill, and she says she's been working on this for a couple of years with landlords and tenant groups. Senate Bill 1039 re would require rental fees, like late fees, pet fees, to be reasonable, and it's in its third reading in the state Senate. I just want to highlight that this um, exorbitant rental fees really is a serious problem in our state right now. There are a lot of new large property management and landlord companies coming into Idaho and taking advantage of tenants. I would say a majority of landlords are really decent, wonderful people, and they do not take advantage of tenants, but there is a small number of bad actors. Senator Ali Robby is the sponsor of Senate Bill 1039, legislation trying to put a ceiling on high rent fees. It's a huge challenge across the state right now, and this is a really simple solution to a large problem. The proposed law would require rental fees to be reasonable, to be in writing, and would require landlords to give tenants 30 days written notice if a fee is changed. It would only apply to rental fees that are in the lease agreement, which includes everything from pet fees to uh, late fees to uh, credit card processing fees. As for what reasonable means, Robbie says the term is commonly used throughout Idaho code. Actually, our code requires mortgage fees to be reasonable, storage facility fees, certain credit card fees, uh, condominium association fees. So it's very common in Idaho for courts to interpret this. She also says under the law, if a tenant thinks a fee is unreasonable, they could bring their landlord to small claims court to try to recoup that fee. So it, would, it wouldn't result in a lot of unnecessary or you know, uh, time-consuming, expensive litigation. Senator Robbie says the proposal is a bipartisan effort. The bill has four Republican co-sponsors, and laws like this aren't uncommon. 27 other states have limited rental fees, um, and 12 of them have uh, limited rental fees by requiring them to be reasonable, including states like Oklahoma, Texas. Uh, so, so it's a really common uh, approach. Uh, policy wise. Now, Senator Robbie told me she first tried to pass this bill during the 2021 legislative session. It passed the Senate, but lost by 12 votes in the House. In Morgan, they decided to bring it back this year, but, and Robbie expects the bill to be up for a vote in the Senate floor within the next week. And Jews, just to reiterate, you said earlier that this was bipartisan, that, that lawmakers, both on the Republican side and the Democratic side, supported this bill. Correct. Uh, Senator Robbie is a, a Democrat, and there are four Republican co-sponsors on this bill. Okay, good to see them unified behind this. All right, Jude, thank you.